First thing we need to do in order to install the SD card is make sure and get the uh, scanner powered down. And if it's not already off or you're not sure it's off, then let's turn it off using the power button. Sometimes, you know, when you go to turn it off, it doesn't turn off immediately and you have to hit the power button a few times or, uh, or wait about five or ten seconds and try it again. Of course, you want to make sure, as always, not to just sit on the power button for a long time, otherwise it'll warm boot. And that's not what we're trying to get it to do now. We need to just get it powered off. Once it's definitely powered off, then we need to unscrew these two screws here. And uh, it seems that it is best to uh, completely unscrew them and get them out of the scanner somewhere where you can find them. There you go. The biggest challenge I found is actually getting the keyboard off. We have to remove the keyboard. We have to slide it off in order to put the memory card in, the SD card. And, you know, the real problem is, and if you haven't taken one off before, is you don't really know what all's coming off. You definitely do not want to be prying up here or anything like that because you might damage things. So what I've found is that the best way to get it off is to grab the sides, like right here and right here, firmly with your hands. We're just doing the top part, the keyboard here, and we're going to slide it down. So we grab it here and pull it like that, and it moves a little bit. And then you can take it off, and it's still hung a little bit, but it's okay to just go ahead and lift it off. At that point, it's okay to work it a little back and forth and get it off of there. So to put in the SD card, you just put your fingernail under this metal tab and pull it up. It just pops up. It's it's um, takes a little bit of an effort to pop it up. Take the SD card and you want to put this end in here, and then put it down like that, and then snap this into place. And if it's in there properly, this will snap down flush. And then getting it back on, it's a little bit tricky too. You see how you have the grooves here that it's got to all slide back into. So what I've been doing is putting the back on first and snapping it down. Make sure this side is snapped down. And you can see we've got, just got a little bit of a gap now. And then I'm pushing down and pushing forward. And once we push forward, then the screw holes will line up, put the screw holes back in, put the screws back in, I mean, and, uh, and, in and then tighten it back up but you don't have to get very tight at all just a little bit firm and now we should be able to power it back up and we can put it in the dock and we can get you, get you upgraded and uh, utilize the SD card and that's all there is to it but uh, of course you can certainly call us with any questions I'm sure we'll be talking anyway